who will present to us the results of the Paramount study. Michelle, thank you. Um, here are my disclosures. Heart failure with preserved ejection fraction accounts for about half of all heart failure cases and is associated with substantial morbidity and mortality, and yet this is a uh, disorder for which no therapies have been shown to improve clinical outcomes. LCZ-696 is a first-in-class angiotensin receptor neprilysin inhibitor that comprises the molecular moieties of a neprilysin inhibitor and the angiotensin receptor blocker valsartan as a single compound. And as such, this compound simultaneously inhibits the renin angiotensin aldosterone system and augments the endogenous natriuretic peptide system, both of which may offer benefits in patients with heart failure. This drug is currently being tested in a large 8,000 patient reduced ejection fraction heart failure trial. The Paramount trial was designed to test the safety and efficacy of LCZ-696 in patients with heart failure and preserved ejection fraction. Paramount was a randomized double-blind trial in which we enrolled patients with class 2 to 4 New York Heart Association heart failure, preserved left ventricular ejection fraction of greater than 45 percent, elevated NT proBNP, which is a marker of wall stress that is associated with adverse outcome in patients with heart failure, we randomized patients to receive either LCZ-696 titrated to 200 milligrams twice daily or Valsartan titrated to 160 milligrams twice daily. And this gives the equivalent dose of Valsartan within uh, LCZ-696. The primary endpoint of the trial was change in this marker nt pro -BNP from baseline to 12 weeks and we continue to follow patients for a full 36 weeks for secondary endpoints, including measures of cardiac structure, function, symptoms, and safety. Shown here are the primary results. We found that NT pro BNP was reduced relatively early in patients randomized to LCZ-696, and at 12 weeks, the primary endpoint was statistically significant with a 23% comparative reduction in NT pro BNP in the patients receiving LCZ compared to those receiving Valsartan and a p value of 0 0.005. This reduction was sustained in the LCZ group to 36 weeks. And over time, we saw that the NT pro BNP value came down in the Valsartan arm, although not to the level of that in the LCZ arm but this difference was no longer statistically significant at 36 weeks. However, we also found that LCZ-696 was associated with several other important markers in heart failure. It was associated with reverse left atrial remodeling at 36 weeks uh, with very significant reduction in left atrial volume and improvement in New York Heart Association class at 36 weeks. All of these measures are markers of uh, severity in heart failure and are associated with adverse outcome in patients with heart failure. LCZ-696 was very well tolerated in this study. We had fewer serious or total adverse events in the LCZ arm compared to those in the Valsartan arm. In summary, we found that the angiotensin neprilysin inhibitor, LCZ-696, reduced NT pro BNP which is a marker of, uh, of wall stress and severity of heart failure to a greater extent than Valsartan after 12 weeks of therapy in association with reduction in left atrial size and improvement in New York Heart Association class. And all of these measures have been associated with worse outcome in patients with heart failure and preserved ejection fraction. Overall, uh, LCZ was well tolerated with fewer serious and overall adverse events than the comparator Valsartan. I want to stress that we consider these findings hypothesis generating, uh, but they suggest that LCZ-696 may have beneficial effects in patients with heart failure and preserved ejection fraction, and that further 
testing of this compound uh, may be warranted in patients with this condition. The full results of this study will be available after uh, the presentation today online in The Lancet. Thank you for your attention.